Welcome friends to another edition of GCK Daily. We hope these inspired clips have encouraged and strengthened you. We constantly pray for you and your well-being. You know, here in the office, it's almost dinner time, and it's got me thinking about my favorite meal. For me, it's pizza and fries. It gets me every time. It's not exactly your award-winning Atkins diet, but listen, if you sprinkle on a little extra cheese, you can't go wrong with it. For you, pasta may be your thing, maybe with a side of watermelon, some ice cream or banana pudding. I'm sure that makes you happy. I'm not sure what your favorite dish is, but as we turn our sights onto spiritual things, we find that David was very clear about how he felt about his experiences with God. In Psalm 34, verse 8, he says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Christ satisfies our every desire. Deep down in our hearts, there's a, a gaping hole, as some call it the donut. Maybe I'm thinking a little bit too much about food here tonight. Well, this hole in the heart is one that only God can fill. So open your hearts to Christ today as Dr. Kumi invites us to taste of God's delicious and everlasting life. Complete healing and abiding relationship is also ready for you. When somebody says that this restaurant is very good, you say, how do you know? Is it because of the sign what they put there, good restaurant? You say, no. That, that's where I eat, look at me. And the evidence that that thing I'm recommending to you is good is that you can see it on me. Since I started with the menu of that restaurant, all that I suffered before, the early morning blue, and all those things, everything vanished away and I cannot exchange that restaurant for any other. That recommendation is coming from something practical. The same thing when you come to Emmanuel's kingdom. I can tell you what happens in Emmanuel's kingdom. Every power of darkness in your life will be cancelled in Jesus' name. I know you take my word for it, but let me show you others that have got into that kingdom and then they add this translation from the kingdom of darkness, kingdom of evil, and they came to Emmanuel's kingdom and since that time, things have been for the better in their lives. Are you hearing me? Can I show you who they are? Let me bring uh, this man that was totally healed of prostate cancer. As the GCK in um, River Stage took place, and he was there. Just like you are here tonight. Hey, let's listen to them. Let the man come and tell us what happened when he connected like you are connecting tonight. For five years plus now, I've been carrying a dreadful disease called prostate cancer. This makes me not to associate myself with friends whenever I'm out here because of the odor I carry. I smell a lot because of this constant urine. The moment I want to urinate and I don't have the, uh, the opportunity to do that, I will lose control and I will pass the urine just like that. And this makes me to smell whenever I pass in the midst of people. So, but glory be to God for what he has done for me through July edition of the Global Crusade at Calabar. The man of God prayed. After the prayer, he asked us to raise up our hands and place our hands where we have the challenge. This I did. After that prayer, I felt, a, 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 in fact, I felt 
something in my private parts, a kind of cool sensation. And I knew that something was happening. So after the prayer, I went home. Before this time, I will not drink water whenever I eat from 7 o'clock till that late in the night. But after this prayer, after the miracle, I can eat freely, I can drink freely. Before this time, in a single night, I can go to pee more than seven times, ten times, just like that, frequently like that, every day. And this used to disturb me. And what they said was that I have to go for operation. And here am I, no money for operation, but God for the intervention of the global crusade. God used his servants, Dr. Pastor W.F. Kumi, to bring healing upon me. And now I am free. No operation, no spending of money. If I want to go to urinate, I can urinate at will. I can hold myself if the place is not conducive for me. I can hold myself until when I get home before I go to pee. So I thank God for what he has done for me. If not for the global crusade, where will I have money to go for uh, operation? If not for the global crusade, I wouldn't have got this healing. But I thank God that he has touched my life. And since that time till today, my life has changed. I am a different person. I can associate with my friends without fear. I can move without somebody hearing any bad order from me. Amen. He got it, you will get it. He said, now things are different. And for you tonight, things are different. As the Lord does it for men, he does it also for women. There's no discrimination. You've heard a man. Let me bring to you a woman, an elderly sister, mama, actually. She had been paralyzed for six years. Don't let me tell you her story. She will tell you her story by herself. Mama, welcome. Tell us your story. I live in Orukefani, Irewale, Shaki Oyo State. For the past six years now, I I was unable to walk on myself. They they were carrying me uh, here and there. But I had last month I had of my uh, crusade, which was to take place at Bayesa State by um, Pastor Kumuyi. And they, um, our pastor brought um, satellites to my house, so I washed. Money Money On the third day, at the last amen, on that third day, I was able to walk after the prayer of man of God, the final amen that I said. The
Amen. Amen. For you, Amen. Amen. Online, Amen is coming your way. Amen. Online people, shout, Amen. Amen. What amazing, amazing testimonies. Prostatic hypertrophy healed and paralysis is completely gone. God's compassion knows no bounds and His mercies will endure to the very end. We're so excited and we have a great hope for you today. Hope for your salvation, hope for your healing, hope for your full deliverance. Pastor Kumi now comes to deliver that hope on a silver platter with an invitation and a prayer. Show six, number one, he forgives all your iniquities. Number two, he heals all your diseases. Let's have number one, eyes closed and heads bowed. The Lord wants to take you out of the earthly kingdom and he wants to bring you to the eternal kingdom. Heads bowed, eyes closed, you want that translation. You want that transfer. You want the Lord himself to give you the new birth right now beyond the natural birth. Wherever you are, I know you've been waiting for this time. Raise up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you. God bless you. There's a new birth tonight. There's a new life tonight. All your sins will be forgiven. Online, friend, you know I'm talking to you. And you know that this is your time for you to have uh, this new birth. And wherever you are over there, in any country, in any congregation, anywhere you are, raise up your hand right there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, everyone, as you are raising up your hand, I want you to stand up. Stand up wherever you are. You say to forgive all my sins, to change my life, and to give me a new birth. I want it now. Raise up your hand. Remember, it's for the young, it's for the old, it's for everyone. God bless you. We're going to pray now. And in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the Lord will give you that new birth. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for all those who have indicated that they want to move out of the natural birth into the new birth. They want to move away from the earthly kingdom to the eternal kingdom. I pray, Lord, according to your promise, Forgive them in Jesus' name. Cleanse their hearts now and transfer them and translate them to the kingdom of your only begotten Son. And let that change and transformation, that new life and new character be for them now visible, known in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, I pray. My miracle awaiting me. Now, you've seen what happened to other people. At the time of the final amen, they believed, they accepted, and they did what you couldn't do before. The same thing you must do. Once we pray to the Heavenly Father, He always answers. He will answer for you tonight. And then at the end of the final amen, you check up yourself and you do what you couldn't do before. You'll find our God is there right by your side are you ready for the miracle ready for the healing raise up the hand and lift the other hand where the challenge is father 
We thank you tonight. We bless your name. We know with you all things are possible. You have promised us you will transfer everyone out of the kingdom of darkness, kingdom of disease, kingdom of sickness, kingdom of infirmity, and you will translate everyone to the kingdom of health, of healing, of deliverance, of power, of newness of life. Lord, do as you have said. Touch everyone now. The blind, the dumb, the dead, the lame, the one having paralysis, having stroke, having cancer, having tuberculosis, having any problem, any disease. Touch, heal everyone now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. God has touched you, healed you, delivered you. What you do now, you do what you are not able to do before you are healed. I am healed. I am healed. All right, do what you are not able to do before. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the Global Crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ, who loves you so much and gave his life that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is to share today's message with a friend so they too can be blessed. Thank, Thank you. you.